sweet, sweet nectar of the gods. Hey everyone, welcome to the latest pop-up masterclass. I am your professor, Matthew Reinhardt, and um, today we're gonna learn a variation on V-Fold. Oh, what was, was that a groan I heard? Because we're all sick of learning about V-Folds. Well, here, let me just um, school you on something. We use V-Folds in so many different ways in pop-ups, it's not even funny. Because they, they, they're this like powering sort of mechanism that, that moves things back and forth. And today, we're going to be working on an asymmetrical V-Fold, the um, vertical uh, V-Fold riser. Now we've learned about V-Fold risers, but this one's a little different because this riser actually moves completely vertically as opposed to inward and outward. And it uses um, a right angle. So a right angle is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, okay? You're welcome. Um, so let me show you a pop-up that uses a V-fold vertical riser. This is a V-fold right here. It's a very wide one. But this part uses a 90 degree angle on this part of the V and a less than 90 degree angle right here. Okay, let's watch it move. It goes straight up. And if you'll notice on the bottom, the other pieces go straight down. All right, so see them move. They move up and down. See those layers moving? Um, but there are a lot of other pop-ups, just as a matter of fact, in this book um, that uh, use V-fold vertical risers. If you look down here, you see this octopus and all these animals. You can sort of see that V-fold um, vertical riser down up here. It's going upward and this one goes down. And there's a weird sort of ring thing going on up top with these characters, so it kind of rotates. This mechanism, I created this, I don't know, about like eight years, or 10 years ago, and I never used the mechanism and I put it away and I found it when I was going through something. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So I finally ended up using it in this book. Hmm, there's one actually, you can't see it, but there's one underneath here, um, making this character go up. Let's see, when he opens and closes, he actually goes straight up. So that's another one. And so they're all over the place. I use them a lot. So do you want to learn how to make one? Yes, we do. Okay, cool, let's get started. All right, first we're gonna take a piece of cardstock and we're gonna fold it in half to make our card, okay? Um, this is the engine. So, well, I mean, we're really the power behind a pop-up. Whenever you open the pages, you're, 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 wait, you're, 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 how about, you're the power um, behind it. Let's make a line using our pencil um, down the center. I just do it so you can see where that center line is. So we're gonna build everything off this center fold like we always do, and that's kind of the engine to make all the other stuff move. I'm gonna use another piece of uh, cardstock that's a different color because um, that's how I roll. I want you to be able to see this when it's being made. Uh, I'm gonna make a rectangle, and I don't know, I'm gonna make it a little shorter. So I don't know, I think that's about like six inches by maybe one and a half, two inches. Make sure that, you know, this edge is as close to parallel to this one as you could, and the same with uh, this edge to this edge. And, and then after you do this, you're actually gonna take one of the corners off. You're gonna cut it like that. We're going to mark uh, 90 degrees uh, starting here, and then we're going to mark it up and make a line going that way. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna use this corner just like this. Uh, and I'm gonna mark it right like that with my pencil. You can fold it along that pencil line. All right, so that's done. And the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a line perpendicular to the center fold. Four inches down, four inches, and then a line across. So this is a right angle. Now attach this to the base page using some tape. You can use any kind of tape by the way. I typically use something called artist tape when I'm making my pop-ups. You can use this kind of clear tape but sometimes it breaks after a while so that's why sometimes if you want you could also use masking tape and we're going to tape it along this line. Make sure you put enough tape along the entire bottom. If you have extra tape, like let's say I used a little extra, see how there's a little extra right there? 
So you can take some scissors and just cut it there. And now we need to tape it along this edge to this side of our card. Okay, so what I really want you to get it focused in on is this edge, all right? So when it's closed, here's where it starts. This is where that edge ends. It literally, quite literally, moves up and down vertically. Now, we've got our uh, VFO vertical riser, and we can start attaching stuff to it. Now, if you saw in some of the pop-ups I showed you, I actually would attach um, layers to this, um, to this mechanism. Let's do that. We'll make a little rectangle. All right, let's attach this piece by putting some one-sided tape with the sticky side up. And I'm gonna attach this rectangle, kind of like this, press it down. All right, so now we can see, wow, whoa, look at that move. That's cool. So it moves up and down. And if we really wanna be cool, which, duh, Maybe I'll attach it right like that to the bottom. So I have it attached here. And oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, look, it's bending. What's happening? Let's fold it. And what did we make? Well, we just made a layer. Look at that box layer right there. And now our piece is attached to the page and we can see it actually move upward. So that's kind of cool. I dig that. One of the reasons why um, I usually, what I, I like to use these V-folds because I can make something that moves up beyond the page. And this one's great because if you really want something that moves upward and gets, you know, really tall, uh, you can do it. The distance, this distance, the higher that goes, this piece would move further up. I think I'm gonna build another thing on this side. I'm gonna make a second one of these vertical V4 risers. By the way, class, if you guys have better ideas about what I should do with this, you know, let me know in the uh, comments below. You know, let me know what you like, what you, you don't like, you know, you spend too much time talking about yourself. Uh, cool, tell me. Um, I'm uh, just learning how to do this and I really enjoy sharing this stuff with, with everyone because I think the more people know about pop-ups, the more uh, the more mechanisms we can figure out, the more things we can try to do, you know, more brains working on all these different problems and figuring things out, uh, the better, right? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this apart and make it in a different color, okay? So through the magic of video editing, poof, look at that. Oh my gosh, all the pieces have magically changed colors. Now we need to attach the opposite side V-fold vertical riser. All right, so I'm just gonna make a line all the way across. We tape it here using uh, one-sided tape and then also here, right? And the reason why I don't have them like right on top of each other, we could do that, it's a little bit more advanced. I just want them to work a little bit separately. Now we still have our other piece. Now this is a mirror of this, only this time, we're actually gonna attach it differently. See this line up here that we made going across? We're gonna attach it up on that line using our one-sided tape. Now, I'm going to use a little bit more double stick, sticky side up, sticky side up, and place it on that edge right there. Now I'll lay down that flap so that we can have the opposite side with a layer, a box layer. And now let's see if they work. Ooh. They work in tandem. To me, it looks kind of like these are turrets in a castle. And the reason why I, I talk about making a castle is uh, my nephew and I were making, we're drawing pictures on um, FaceTime the other day and we made castles. And it was fun because we were able to like very easily, he's four and a half, so very easily we can draw pictures with just rectangles and squares. And so I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, and we're gonna make a rectangle. But I definitely want this rectangle to be uh, large enough so that it goes across the, the entire pop-up, right, like that. But before we do that, we have to fold it in half. And there's one more thing I wanna do to this. I wanna make some one more set of folds on, the, on both sides. That's what'll happen if I, I only put one fold. But if I add another fold um, on each side, the, the front of the castle will bow outward. So essentially what I just did, I took the one piece and I just folded it on both sides and made sure that they were folding. And then we're gonna, we're gonna double stick here and here. 
line up our wall. I, I think I'm just gonna have the wall end right there. But we, what do we need to do? We need to make sure that the center fold of that wall piece is lined up with the center fold of our, our base page. Now, what I always tell my students um, once they build something like this is I make sure that they look at it from every direction and see how, how all the pieces work together. So there's that box layer. There are our V-fold, let's look at them this way, peek inside there. There's our V-fold uh, vertical risers. And the reason why it moves together and works really well is because they're both attached at, at, at perpendicular lines. So everything is pretty much the same and it's all working at the same time. So let's dress this up. Let's make it look pretty and turn it into something, okay? I'm gonna make some little turrets up top. All right, so here's my little um, turret. I'm gonna add these up here. I'm gonna make the interior of the castle there. And see, I just, I just made a cut just like that. And while it's closed, because remember I've told you so many times you can look and peek inside your pop. I'm gonna fold it like this. And we're gonna, we're gonna make sort of an inward layer. Like, we're, so there it is as normal, but I'm gonna push that in just like that. I always love pops that sort of break the outside of the card. See how like the edges of the card, it really gets large and big and it comes up and it, it breaks some of the edges. So let's decorate this now. So that's this week's lesson, um, our pop-up V-fold vertical risers, and we made this really cool pop-up castle. Da -da -da -da. And um, so anyways, if you have ideas about future lessons that you'd like me to go over here in the pop-up masterclass, be sure and leave your uh, ideas down in the comments below. And also, um, if you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe below. Click that bell icon for notifications every time a new pop-up masterclass uh, comes online. Lastly, here are links to my social media so you can tell me what you want to make next time. Be sure and pop in next time. Bye-bye now.